face. The goggles do nothing. One of the most common questions we get asked is, what is the agar good for? Well, what's the different colors? Which should I use? Is a jelly-like substance made from polysaccharides obtained from the cell walls of certain red algae species, primarily Ogonori from the genus Gracilaria. Blue agar is just agar and water. That's it. So we do blue, so we know it's just water agar. It's good for cloning wild mushrooms. So as there's no nutrients in the agar, things are very, very slow to grow, like really slow. So if you take a little cutting from your mushrooms, the mushrooms have to grow under its own steam. So if you have any other contaminated spores and things or other bits landing on there, it really struggles to grow. So generally, although it takes a long time to grow, your mushroom fungus will get growing and then you can just cut the leading edge and go on to a, a normal agar. So it's really good for cloning and that's about it. There's no food source, so it's not good for much else. Green agar is MEA agar with antibacterial. So if you're having any bacteria cropples, which is sort of bits of slimy stuff, this is good to clean up your cultures you've got. It is slower growing. Pretty much everything will grow. Other fungi and things will grow. So if any spores land on there, that's where they grow too. With other funguses, but it's good for helping slow down bacteria and stuff to get your mushroom fungus away from it, then cut it and then give it some MEA. So only good for cleaning up cultures. You can use it, but things are slower growing. That's not good over time, just using any bacterial. MEA agar is just a standard looking agar. This is essentially for everything. So you can do spores, cloning. You need to be very clean with your cloning. Otherwise everything will grow. Everything grows at full speed. So if you have any problems, they generally outcompete your mushrooms. So you need to be very clean using MEA. Having a flow hood is a must, still air box to minimum, but you will have some issues if any spores land on your work. So MEA is good for general purpose, cloning, spores, everything, transfers from other agar, everything grows. As soon as you take them out of the bag, anything in your air, if that gets in under the edge of your agar, it's gonna grow. So generally you need to only open them in front of a flow hood or inside of a steel air box. Don't open them, pick them up and oh, look around because things are getting there then they're stuffed. Storage of agar, just at room temperature. Sometimes you get some condensation build up. That's due to the fluctuation of the temperature. So if you've got a stable room temperature between 18 to 20 degrees, that will stop any condensation forming inside your plates. It's just from the temperatures going up and down. So you get a bit of evaporation. It's not a problem, but people get a bit upset when they see a bit of condensation, but it's just from the temperatures. Only store them at room temperature between 15 to 20 degrees. Don't put them in the fridge because fridges are pretty dirty places generally. So if there's any pinholes or anything like that, things will make their way in. And plus also if you get too cold in the agar when there's nothing on there, it can sort of go a bit jelly again over time. So just room temperature between 15 to 20 degrees is the best storage place. Tips for using your agar plates. Make sure you only open them in front of a flow hood or inside of a still air box that has been properly cleaned before use. It only takes a few invisible spores that you can't see to land on them and then they're gonna grow and now compete your mushroom fungus. That's it, agar can be a really fun part of the mushroom growing process. Give it a go and practice makes perfect. See you. And that's it for the different types of agar. Good luck cloning. <laughs>